Hello everyone, this is Deval from QNAP. Today I'm going to show you how to share a file from QNAP with your friends, families, co-workers or even on social networking sites. Compared with a USB storage device to share files, you have a more convenient alternative way for sharing your music, photos and videos with families, members and friends. If you own a business, the Turbo NAS even helps you share files with clients and partners efficiently thus increases operation productivity. To share a file or folder, first you need to log into the NAS from a web browser. Open any browser on the computer and type in the local IP address of the NAS. Once you add the login page, click on the login button and log into the NAS. Right. So once you're logged in, click on File Station. Once you click on File Station, on the left side, it will list all the folders available on the NAS. Okay, I'm going to share a file under the public folder, and it's an image file called EC2479U. To share a file, click on the box next to it, and click on Share. QNAP provides multiple options to share a file to someone. First is to email the sharing link to an email address. Second is to publish a file on a social network. Or lastly, you can just copy the link and send it to anyone that wants to see the file. To email the link, you can enter the email address into the box over here. So we're going to take an email address. You can either change the subject or leave it the same, or you can change the message of the email. You can either use the NAS to email the link or if you have Outlook or email client installed on the computer, you can use the local computer to email the link. It will open up the email client such as Outlook to send an email to the person. Once you have entered all the information, click on the send button to send the email. The other option that QNAP provides is to publish the file or the link on a social networking site. To do that, you have to click on the publish button. Okay, and then you can enter the subject or the message that you want to provide for the link. And click on the button for either of the social networking site that you want to publish the link to. Enter the information of your account for that particular site and it will publish the link or the file. Lastly, you can change some settings for sharing the files by going to the settings tab. And under there, you can change the name of the link. Also, you can change the domain name or the IP address for that particular link. So if the person is located in the same network, you can put in the local IP address for that particular share. But if the person is located outside of the network, you have to actually choose either the DDNS name or the public IP address. So people that are not in the same network can access that particular link. The other option QNAP provides is to securely share the file by checking this box and it will share the HTTPS link for that particular file. You can also expire the link after a certain amount of days or you can also now expire the link after a certain date. This will provide the link to be shared for unlimited period of time, such as the default option, which is always valid. You can also password protect the link so that every time the person needs to access the link, he would need to put in a password. Okay. Once you have changed these options, click on the apply button and the file is shared. The person with whom you're trying to share the file will receive an email which will look that, like this. To open the file, he just has to click on the link. He can click on the file to open the file and then download the file. Or he can click on download all to, if it's multiple files. This is how you share a file from a QNAP NAS. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact our technical support team and they will be able to assist you. Thank you for watching.